It's a really all news. Welcome and thanks for joining me as I bring you the updates of events happening in and around Equa. Our top story says EMS planted new churches and provided health services in the southwest. The Equa missionary site in its quest to fulfill its mission of prayerfully identifying the less rich people mobilized, equipped and sent a, dy a dynamic force of believers to preach the holistic gospel to southwest Nigeria. The outreach began on the 9th to the 13th of May 2024. The EMS training officer, Reverend Gannard Daniel, who was also a representative of the EMS director, Reverend Mark Phillips, said the focus of the outreach is to win souls and to plan 100 mission fields. We are so excited because we are coming from different regions and we've already come yesterday night, um, May 2024. We slept here at the DCC headquarters church and by the grace of God, we've already had our orientation and shared ourselves into six groups. And these groups will reach other sub-clusters community. We've earlier came to this place in 2022. And as a result of that, many churches were planted and missionaries were sent into this place. The purpose of our coming is follow up mission so that we can win souls, plant more churches, and promote uh, uh, church growth and discipleship so that the kingdom of God is enlarged in this part of the world for the glory of God. He added that the outreach convened individuals from various DCCs and states, the regional coordinators and the medical team ready to administer drugs to the people and thank the host DCC for the overwhelming welcome. The District Church Council Chairman Isalu DCC, Reverend Gabriel Ola Emmanuel, thank the leadership of EMS for coming to the Southwest and specifically to Isalu DCC for the second time and that the first outreach two years ago has yielded remarkable results. Actually, it's very interesting. In about two years ago, this has happened and that was the first uh, badge of it. This is the second badge. We reached out to the villages around us in Isalu because we discover there are a lot of people inside our booth, very plenty people. In fact, they almost outnumber the people of the community. We have them in different dialects, different groups of people. And of course, they have their settlements. And by the grace of God, through the help of the Southwest uh, uh, EMS coordinator, with the help of the DC evangelists and all those ones, we are able to discover a lot of stations, about 21 stations that we have to reach out to. We've been doing that one until the EMS director and his team sent us uh, about uh, eight or nine uh, missionaries that are rightly working in our environment. Inside our views, you need to see how those people responded, the kind of listening here they give to us. And because of their experience, those missionaries gave us the tip towards how to reach out to those people and it really works. And we are thanking God that the gap was not so wide for them to come back again. And we are trusting God that even those who work done as at that time, this one will boost it again to make it really, really work out for good. The various teams visit various villages and also visit some established churches that are being manned by Equa missionaries. Speaking to some missionaries manning these churches shows that there is an urgent need to support these churches due to the needs that have hindered them from achieving their primary goal. Uh, I am serving here in Adamara, Equa Church Adamara, and uh, I want to thank the AMS headquarters as they sent uh, this evangelism to us because there is the need in this village. Uh, in fact, people uh, they are very hungry to hear the word of God and seeing people, strange uh, visitors, they will be happy to hear from them because they have been hearing from us. 
and uh, we, we, we give God the glory that before they go back, many people will give their life to God. Uh, for me to see the visitors, the EMS team visited us, I'm so happy to receive them. Well, this is my church, and I have Aousa speaking people, likewise I have Yoruba speaking people. Then what of the challenges to uh, Aousa speaking people, where they are coming from, to come and worship in the church is so far. Some will trek, some will go on bike. Well, if you, are on tr if you trek, if you use leg, then you use more than one hour before you will reach church. Even there are some places, if you be on bike, you still use more than 20 minutes before getting to church. So it's so far, this is one of the challenges they are facing. So if uh, the headquarter can help us to send more uh, EMS pastor to this area, so to assist us so that uh, those people, those uh, the challenges will be reduced. So we need more pastors so that the work can be easy. We need Aousa Hembo because I have many people Aousa speaking and they need Aousa Hembo and Aousa Bible too. They also appreciated the EMS leadership for visiting them and encouraging them. I want to use this medium to thank the uh, EMS of Equa for bringing these people, for the, the EMS team to our community. Uh, in fact, it's a great of help. Uh, in fact, they are doing a very great job. And I hope more of this to continue, even if it's happened next year or two years, and the next two years. So, and also, I want to use this medium also to thank the Equa Isando uh, DCC for, uh, to, uh, to, to add more to uh, the plan, to EMS uh, of Equa plan that they uh, brought a uh, medical team. And uh, in fact, as you can see, this place, there's no clinic at all. But they are coming, it's a great help to this community. The medical team, on the other hand, was able to minister drugs and treatment to all the communities visited. The leader in charge of the team attested that they had worked hand in hand with the medical team from the headquarters and were able to reach a lot of people. We thank God for our team. People are going around to give people drugs, even at home. We see some pregnant women, we see some children, and we take care of them with these drugs. And it is a very, eh? and uh, we thank God it is working perfectly well to the glory of God and to the glory of his holy name. So we praise for God for this team. And we thank those people that, that, uh, came from uh, the medical team, from JOS. Even they are so good, they are committed to the work, and they have been doing the work vigorously to the glory of God. And we thank God for them, we thank God for their life. They have been so good in the evangelism, they have been so good in taking care of the patients. They have been helping us even to, they have been helping us even to interpret to those uh, Fulani women who do not understand Yoruba. They are of paramount importance to this program. So we give God the glory and we say, to him alone be the glory in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Reports received from the groups and subgroups show that new churches were planted and many received and rededicated their lives to Christ and the medical team was able to reach and treat 765 persons. It also showed that there is a need for schools, boreholes, bosses, hospitals and Bibles among the many needs of these communities. Some of the participants narrated that they have seen they have been challenged by what they have seen in these villages and called on churches 
and believers not to hesitate whenever there is a need to support mission work. Because of the need, some people that indicated that they don't have Bible to study, I have to release my own for them. So I would like to plead with us, in any area that the Lord will lay in your hands, in your heart, or the EMS will be coming to your location, pleading for a support. Let it not be as if they are a kind of, uh, 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 of pushing us more, but actually it is on the basis of what they have seen. It is on the basis of the experience that they are laying all these, uh, all these uh, uh, needs for us to support them. We thank God we went to the feed. And when we got there, what we saw was very challenging and also encouraging. We saw a massive need on the feed and it helped us to go back home. And with the report from various centers, it helped us to re-strategize and plan well so that next time, when we are asking, when the EMS is asking for support, we know that they are not asking it because they just wanted to ask. We are also burdened by what we saw, that there is a need for us to rise up this time around to support EMS. Not because it's a mandate alone by God, but because we owe a duty to ensure that lives are transformed, lives are changed, and we can avert any future disaster that may want to come. Because the earlier we win the souls for God, the better for us to live peacefully. Thanks for watching the news. I am Alheri Moses. Till I come your way next time. Bye.